I think if we're going to be doing that more and more, you would just spend all your admin points doing that, wouldn't you? Well done. So I've got a bit of a weird thing here. Not only does Etchman's not have... Not only do these not have any cores, which is weird enough in itself. Uh, I suppose because I annihilated the colonial nation. But earlier, when I took stuff from... Portugal? Yeah, I took this stuff from Portugal. And it already was cored by me, somehow. I still don't know how that worked, exactly. Land connection to my capital, perhaps? I'm unsure. Some bug that uh, should be squashed, perhaps. But this is bad. The good thing is, is that it doesn't impact my overextension too much. The only uh, thing that does is connect it. Basically, there's three that affect it. not have taken so much. This is going to kill me. But that's always fun, right? It's fun to watch Bane explode in Rebels, so that's what we'll be doing. Thankfully, it's only going to be this land that explodes in Rebels. I'm going to have to spend all these admin points. Oh, whoops. Oh well. All these admin points dealing with it. Basically we want to deal with the ones that are overextensions, so we're not going to touch anything else. Negative 83 Diplo. I like that we can go into negatives now for peace deals, which is really quite nice. Um, Money-wise, we have tons of ducats still, so we could afford this. It would also give us 10% production efficiency, which would help slightly. Very slightly. But um, what we really want to do is get another minister. But... We, of course, can't do that. F for some time. Alright, idea group. Religious for the extra missionary. Heathens is the thing that we want to be more tolerant of. Humanist for less missionaries. We're going to need the missionaries when we're taking over all this Catholic land. And the use of separatism does really help. thing is, like A. Lucius is saying, we just have too much land to convert, so we need the additional, um, we need the missionary strength and the extra missionaries. No, my national ideas are terrible because I do get a little bit of, um, missionary strength further on, but basically, uh, no, next to nothing. When you create a nation, if you get colonists, you basically are very limited. You have to take zeros for everything else if you want to stand at 200. So, yeah. Alright, we're going to be continuing this for about another um, another hour, I dare say. Maybe half an hour, sorry. It's starting to get quite warm in here and our air conditioner is broken. So, I will not be staying in this room for too long. Alright, I can send colonists over here now. So we will do so. 
I don't know where England is going to colonize next, but I'm sure that they have a pretty good idea. Alright, we're going to have to deal with all this land that we've taken, and then we're going to have to go and lay waste to the Portuguese. They're going to have to take over Mater at some point, um, followed by this to stop them spreading downwards. Um, but yeah, this isn't going too badly. It's taking a little bit of time, but it's not going too badly. Nobility wants some stuff. Okay, Nobility. Uh, actually, you can have some of this overseas stuff, because it's going to take ages for it to actually be um, useful. Preferably something that's fairly average, like this. Oh, okay, I can't make these because they're overseas. Alright. Well, in that case then, you can have... Um, you're a 222, you're a 221. Sure, that will work for me. Go for it. Alrighty. How are we going to deal with all this? How are we going to deal with all this? Turn Pipil into a city. Well, I guess it'll happen at some point. And it's probably going to be the thing that I do the most. You know, I'd like to be friends with Spain, and Spain are actually having the least impact on me currently. Um, I think they're possibly busy going and doing other things right now. Although I don't really see any um, South African stuff yet. Um... So I don't know. Either way, probably not. I will need to deal with them at some point, so... Um, no, we will take Pipil into a city. Not just that, but we're going to be attacking Portugal, who is their ally. Or was he? I forget. I assume he was, because... That's usually the case. Too few rivals. We can only rival Spain now. That's kind of funny. It's because Spain is about the only threat left. Navally, anyway. Alright. We can call one of these overextension provinces. Doesn't really matter which one. Now, Alicious. Uh, let me uh, confirm whether this is right. So, as long as this isn't taken, these are overseas, or at least these ones are. When I take this land, if I want it to be cheaper to core, it's better if it's still overseas at that point. And then I can fill in this, and things will be happy. Now, when I fill in this, is that when it's connected? So, like, when the colonist gets there, or is it when the colony is finished? That's a very good question. Why do I only have three colonies going? Because the other one's probably going and doing something else instead. Eh, uh, we'll lose the ducats. I like my prestige nice and high. When arrived. Wonderful. And that means that if I want to game the system a little bit, I could keep the province going to, you know, get the bonuses from them. But then, you know, I can just... Abandon the colony later on to just sort of get rid of it. Yeah, that works for me. Yeah, I might gain it a little bit. We'll see. Although, what would I get from gaming it? I really wouldn't get too much. I would. They'd still be limited to negative 75, so... Yeah. Alright. So, production efficiency. Let's do it. That'll give us a little bit of ducats there. We don't really need to be paying our army too much. We don't need to be paying our fleet too much. Our missionaries, however. Missionaries 
plural. Yeah, I wish. Will uh, be worth it. So we get the ducats up that way. Placentina. That sounds like a wonderful place. I think that's somewhere I'm religiously converting or something. Or somewhere that I just have not increased the autonomy of. Alright, England's still going to stick with this for now. But that's okay. And we're going to easily block him off here. And block him off here. And then we don't really need to worry about him too much. I'm blocking off the this side of the coast. Oh. Blocking off this side of the coast is sort of our goal. Once we've done that, you know, this is going to be the hardest part to block. But we'll see how we do. The usual overseas strategy is you go in to mass core on the cheap, and then annex the connecting land to connect it, and start annexing a new unconnected chunk and repeat. Right, of course, because this is connected, but this is not. So this is still distant overseas and will be until it has a land connection. Okay. That should be doable. Alright, we can work with that. We also don't need this guy. Well, speaking of, where are our troops? They're not taking attrition there. Excellent. Good to know. Look at our fleet. I'm so happy of that fleet. For colonizing, you will also get free cores on all the unconnected land you colonize. Right. So I actually don't need to bother coring this stuff. Well, it automatically cored for me. Right. But then it's at autonomy 75% instead of zero. So probably better to spend the admin points, I imagine. All right, we can get this one going. So we'll do that. And then we'll get that one going next. And then we'll just take time. Is this a uh, static owner? That's pretty cool. 10 development is quite nice. Pity it does fish. Oh, really? The game tracks autonomy in the background, so when you connect the land, it should drop to its natural value. It's basing up what's more important to you, saving admin or getting that land cord. Yeah, okay. Getting that land cord. What? Yeah, about that. Independence for England. So what, what are their demands? Cede everything to England, yeah. That's what I thought. They're going to be the worst. Does that mean I can finally convert you? Oh, I can! Wonderful. That's our next goal. Alright, I should probably call it here, guys. I'm not really doing too much. Um, and this next section is going to be pretty boring, so it's better to do that at the beginning of a playthrough rather than at the end of one. Yay! Ten years of separatism in that place that I really like. Fun. It's going to take a long time to get over there. That's okay.
What? Okay, so something accepted demands, things happened. Well, that was interesting. Alright, in that case then. Hmm. In that case then, we should probably head back over to here. No, we need to head back up to here because this is definitely going to revolt at some point. <clears throat> and we need to be up there to deal with it. We just don't really have a choice in that regard. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I know this has been a relatively short run for me, only two and a half hours, which is quite low, less than my normal. But I am dripping with sweat. And unfortunately, this room is only going to get hotter. Thankfully, the repair guy is coming tomorrow, so we should be able to stream normally tomorrow. Um, I'm also going to be getting rid of that noise that you can hear in that background, that fantastic little hum, over the next few weeks, so that's good. I also need to forget that taking my troops over to places causes them to uh, not be fun. Alright, Bogota is done. I'm trying to think what we should do next. I think we should get Jamaica out of the way. Just because it's going to be a pain to sort of come back to, if you know what I mean. Yeah, because that's done. And these guys only have 3.3 .3 for this one place here. Let's have a look at our uh, maps, actually. I haven't looked at the uh, religious map yet. Oh, look at this. The Zoroastrian is quite nice. It's spreading quite well. It will spread much faster once we have our uh, missionaries going. But yeah, we'll get there. Speaking of, our religious um, unity is down to 74%, which is quite bad, but we'll get there. It's been lower when at the start of the game when it was down to something like 25%, so... Yeah. Yeah, wanker. And like I said, our clergy influence has now dropped. If I take a couple of um, provinces from them, it should be okay. The theocracy is what's causing a lot of it. Um, because yes, eventually we would like to get a, another theologian from this. That's kind of it. Should core a couple more provinces because we can. This nice big 10 province. Actually, I'm going to micromanage this like I always do. So, we can't really impact this. We're just going to have to stay up there and deal with that. But these, the English ones, are only really at three places Madawaska, Passam, and Peno. Madawaska. Madawaska, which we can't do. Right, okay. And you're taking attrition there, actually, so... Split you in half and put half on Madawaska, which will lower its autonomy a little bit. Um, Madawaska... Oh, excellent, we're already coring that one. And I think this was the other one. Yep, Penobscot and Passam. Yep, so they're going well. Madawaska we can't do yet because we haven't made any of its surroundings at core. Let's look at that. Maliseet, Kesbeck and something. Yes, just seeing if I'm already doing something there. No, I'm not. So in that case then, we have 53 left. We might as well do um, this one where our army currently is. And then we'll move our army to somewhere... Well, it doesn't really matter. Should all work out okay in the end. 
and get some military tech going. Why the heck not? Um, yeah. Superior unit types. Offensive cannons. Alright, that's pretty much it done. I know I'm umming and ahhing and hemming and whoring about leaving, but until next time, guys, I will be back tomorrow. I will be playing some board games earlier on in the day and then following it up with some more EU4. Thank you very much, and I will see you soon. Make sure we save the game first. Always a good idea.